The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Well, you know, we, we need to stop the fraud that's going on in America right now. That's uh, and, and the start of this whole thing is, is as you say, it's the birth certificate. Um, the fraud, fraud uh, of the birth certificate starts the the uh, uh, stream of fraud that this man has been part of. Let's see, we were uh, talking about, uh, we were, we were Frank Marshall Davis. I think mm -hmm. that's where we were. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, keep it, keep in mind that uh, um, this young lady, his mother, uh, was pregnant, uh, was underage, uh, went over to Kenya, and in Kenya, uh, what people are telling us, of course, the grandmother and uh, people in the village say that he was born there, uh, in Kenya. Um, there are many people who say that uh, Frank Marshall Davis is, in fact, the father, um, and that's you know, neither here nor there, really. Um, the long and the short of it is that if he was born in Kenya, uh, is he eligible to be president of the United States? Is he? I'm asking the host. No. No. It's fairly simple, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, because then he was under a, in a British protectorate, uh, not uh, under the jurisdiction of the United States. And, and birth... Um, being born of the mother and father who were American, well, she couldn't confer American citizenship because she was a minor. I'm not sure which show, but we spoke uh, recently about the, the deaths of uh, Mr. Breitbart, Mr. Hastings, and Mr. Clancy, and that they're all tied together because of the work of the book that uh, Tom Clancy was working on. I think it was the show with Brandon Walker. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one I'm referring to. Good. Well, thank you. Um, and my question is, um, I'm, I'm on the Internet quite often, and um, I, I do a lot on YouTube. And I got a comment um, that I, I'd like to know how you would answer this. Um, it, it was in regards to um, Obama's birth certificate being fraudulent. And... Um, what this person um, stated was, um, would you, uh, where is it? Mona, as an experiment, next time you fill in your tax return, use your partner's Social Security number or make one up and see how fast the IRS gets back to you. You present, <laughs> <laughs> your president has been using the same Social Security number since 1980 and you, and you think the IRS um, wouldn't have noticed it by now? How, how would you answer this person? Um, the current one, which uh, is known, um, is from Connecticut. He never lived in Connecticut. Um, right. And he has used others, which, by the way, is a breach of law uh, in using other um, identifiers. Your, uh, your Social Security number, of course, is fixed to you. And he has one that uh, was uh, actually given to a dead man. Uh, I believe his name was Harrison J. Bonillo, if I'm not correct. Um, that's the one he's using from Connecticut right now. You, you are correct in the name, Doctor. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. So um, he's he's breaking the law right now by using someone. Uh, they do not reissue uh, birth birth certificates. They don't. Sorry, they don't reissue uh, social security numbers. Uh, after a person has died. Uh, and this one, I believe, is from the 1890s, uh, if I'm correct. Right. Yes. That's when Mr. Bornell was born, and uh, the number was, um, Obama assumed the sign, stall, whatever you want to say, around 1977. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. <laughs> 